Section 6.3 deals with how all the plates are moving apart. Um, these are those tectonic plate uh, boundaries. Uh, there's three main types. Something called a divergent boundary. I remember that because I think of the word divide. They're dividing apart where the plates are moving away from each other. Uh, most of the time they're found in the ocean. Uh, that's that mid-ocean ridge that I was talking about. Uh, the one that's going right down the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, I think that one's called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Um, there's, in the middle, right where those are, are being pulled apart, is a rift valley. Uh, there is a rift valley, however, in, in Africa. Uh, it's on land. It's kind of a rare one that you don't see very often, but it's explained in your book. So if you get a chance to look at that in 6.3 in your book, great idea. Convergent boundaries. <clears throat> These are where the plates are colliding, and I just remember collide starts CO, and I think convergence starts CO, uh, so that's where they collide, where they push together. This is where mountains are formed, um, where um, volcanoes might form. And then the last boundary is the transform boundary. This is where they scrape past each other. Uh, this is kind of like the San Andreas Fault area in California. This is where earthquakes occur. But well, as that seafloor, uh, one of the divergent boundaries, an example, uh, spreads apart, a rift valley is created right in the middle. Um, this is that spreading center. This is where that magma rises up and fills in uh, and then creates new rock. Well, these mid-ocean ridges we talked about, the longest mountain changes, mountain chains uh, on the planet. They run almost north pole to south pole uh, through the mid-Atlantic uh, Ocean. Um, in the book on page 90 or 199, there is a picture of a divergent boundary. You don't necessarily have to draw it, but it might not be a bad idea to put it in your notes. Um, now, as the seafloor spreads and the seafloor rock uh, is formed, uh, we don't know why, but the magnetic um, polarity changes every so often. Uh, it's kind of weird if you think, you know, we, we think of a magnet having a north pole and a south pole, and... Uh, but er in about every uh, 250,000 years or so, uh, that north and south pole uh, magnet, uh, uh, magnetic uh, part changes. Uh, north poles are, are the, the north pole of a magnet becomes the south pole of a magnet, and the south pole of the magnet becomes a north pole. The, the planets actually north and south pole don't switch. They don't, we don't flip upside down, but um, the the actual, like a magnet, would be opposite. And it happens about every 250,000 years or so. And, and relatively close to right now, we're looking at another magnetic reversal happening within a few you know, tens of thousands of years of us right now. Well, again, we probably will not have to worry about it. But it would just, you imagine what kind of uh, havoc it would uh, cause if magnet, uh, if a uh, Compasses didn't work. If uh, things didn't show north or south, they sh or instead of showing north, they showed south. And uh, what kind of craziness that could cause in the world right now? Um, now, when the con continents split apart um, at these divergent boundaries, like in Iceland um, and in Africa, the, there's a great rift valley in Africa. Uh, these valleys form on land, and you get to see them a little bit more. Uh, there are also things called hot spots. These hot spots are just a plume of magma coming straight up. The, the crust over the top moves, but the, the plume of magma does not. And there's, here's a little short video uh, that will kind of explain this. It's only about um, 50 seconds long. So here's that video that I'm talking about with the, the hot spots. Here, so just uh, um, watch what happens. Hawaii's volcanoes did more than sculpt the landscape. They actually built the islands from scratch. The Hawaiian chain sits atop the Pacific plate, a shifting block of the Earth's crust. Beneath the plate lies a stationary hotspot. It produces a column of magma, creating volcanoes that gradually rise above the sea to form islands. As the plate slowly drifts northwest, each island in turn is pulled away from the hotspot, and the volcanoes are extinguished. 
The hot spot now sits 20 miles south of the Big Island, where it's creating a new volcano named Loihi. Now, I hope you saw in that video as, as those hot spots, as the hot spot created the island, as they moved on, those islands became smaller and smaller. What's ultimately going to happen here is Hawaii, the, all the islands, uh, are going to eventually break down and fall back into the ocean. Um, and new islands will be formed um, along the way. Uh, and I think, actually, that's about it. Um, here's a picture of the Rift Valley in Africa. Uh, you can see the valley here. and This is all the new stuff that gets formed in here. But I think that's everything. So uh, when you're done with this and you're l done listening to this, um, if the uh, first person in this class could come up to me and tell me uh, the name of the... the uh, um, um, the mid-ocean ridge uh, through the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. If you can give me the actual name of it, um, it is in your book. Uh, it is found on page 199. Um, if you want to take a look at that, um, that would give you a pretty good... Uh, I, I'll give you uh, two base signatures.